The poem I've chosen is The Book Back by um, Teresa of Avila. Let nothing disturb you, let nothing frighten you, all things pass away, God never changes, patience obtains all things, he who has God finds he lacks nothing, God alone suffices. So the repetition of nothing, let nothing disturb you, let nothing frighten you, reflects her um, personal and emotional struggle to find God in her own life. So we know that when, um, when she was younger she fell out of her faith. Um, and it was through a connection, um, a strengthened connection um, through the, uh, an image of Christ's suffering that she connect, reconnected with her faith. Um, so this, this vision also kind of links to what we were looking at with this uh, Spanish mystics um, because we were looking at how the crosses in um, Spain now show Jesus' suffering. So this could link to um, Teresa and her uh, vision. Um, there's a clear motive running through the poem, which is persistence and strength. It's almost like a self-motivation to, every time she opens her book, she can see that she's she's doing God's work and she's going to continue um, God's work. Um, God never changes. This, um, this is brought up in the middle of the poem, so this almost the way I th thought about it is that God should be the centre of our day um, and sometimes, as she said through the poem, um, we struggle um, with uh, all the day-to-day -day, uh, disturbances. It says, he who has, uh, finds God lacks nothing. I like, again, this links to her personal experience. So she's went from having wealth, um, sh having wealth of jewels, um, and going into the convent and being stripped of our wealth. Um, and this also links to the pilgrimage because we were looking at it during the week. And um, when, when you go on your pilgrimage journey, you only bring your essential stuff. So we'd almost stripped of this materialistic stuff that we don't essentially need. Um, patience obtains all things could possibly be personification as well because um, it doesn't specify things, but it's an, or non things could be non-human, um, and that takes on a human trait of emotion of patience. Um, she, she's used this to express feelings. Um, trusting God in times of a trial is a clear theme of the poem. Um, it wouldn't be puzzling for someone with um, no religious background to understand this poem because the structure of it is very clear. Um, 